The outer casing of the pipe hex is PVC, with two moulded ends for the mains water connections, which are sealed to the double wall copper heat exchanger within. When the connected shower is operated, its waste water passes through the inside of the heat exchanger, while cold mains water passes around the outside, between the copper heat exchanger and the outer PVC casing. Heat energy is transferred efficiently from the warm waste water into the cold mains water, supplying preheated water to the shower and or water heater. The inner layer of the copper double wall heat exchanger is formed with raised strips running the full length of its outer surface. This inner layer is drawn through the outer layer of copper pipe to create the double wall construction, leaving small gaps between that run the full length. If either layer of the copper was to fail, water would pass through and run down through the gaps created between the walls, giving a visual indication of a leak without the potable water mixing with wastewater. The double wall construction of the heat exchanger conforms to EN1717, the protection against pollution of potable water caused by backflow. This level of protection allows the waste trap to be connected to the shower or bath as normal. For a single walled exchanger to comply with UK water regulations, the trap would have to be moved downstream of the wastewater heat recovery system. Shower wastewater flows from the shower or bath trap into the turbo rotator, which is designed to spin the water round before it enters the heat exchanger. This encourages the wastewater to cling to the inner surface of the heat exchanger as it passes through, increasing efficiency. The smooth surface of the heat exchanger means there is nothing to snag dirt or hair carried with the wastewater passing through. Also, with copper being naturally antimicrobial, it resists the build-up of contaminants. Because of this, there is no planned maintenance required for cleaning the pipe hex. Real-world product testing in student apartments has shown very little to no reduction in efficiency over a six-year test period. The cold water volume between the double wall copper heat exchanger and the outer PVC is 300 millilitres. This low volume is used to calculate the product utilisation factor within SAP. As with any wastewater heat recovery system, when the flow of cold water through the unit is stopped, the residual preheated water must be allowed to cool as quickly as possible. It is for this reason the pipe hex must not be insulated only the pipe work connected to it. If the soil vent pipe needs to be insulated, then the boxing should be partitioned to keep the insulation away from the wastewater heat recovery system. If the pipe hex is damaged on site, it can be returned to recoup to be reused. A returned, undamaged copper heat exchanger can be recased at the factory, saving manufacturing costs and some environmental impact. Because of this, we offer a refurbishment credit amount towards the replacement unit. 